Oracle to the Six Carry Connects, I have Psychic Medium Carry Mugs, and each week I pull a card from a deck to let you know what's coming up for the week and the signs and symbols to watch for. This week, happy 4th of July tomorrow. Have a happy and safe holiday tomorrow, and hope it is amazing for you. So, this week we are using the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. Now, this is by Alberto, Vill Alberto Villiato, Colette Baron reed and Marcelo Lobos. This is three mediums that got together, and shamans got together and built this deck. There is another deck called The Shaman's Dream by Alberto Villiato and Colette Byrne reed and we've used that a couple times in Carry Connects, but this one's different. This one is um really, really beautiful deck. Each card on the back has like an Aztec compass or an Aztec like map or something with, it looks kind of like a circle labyrinth with beautiful stones and some arrowheads on each side of the stone, kind of like a, so I Compass will probably be one of the signs this week. And also too, the book that comes with it is is a little bit bigger than most books and it's kind of more in detail. So the reason why we've never used this deck before is because it's a little bit of hard, it's a little bit harder to read. Each card inside, you can see the beautiful artwork of each card inside, but you can also notice that, these are upside down, that they're just one worded cards. There's a lot of symbolism in them, but they're just one worded. So you have to have a lot of intuition into this deck. So I this that's why we're gonna try it this week. So, okay, let's cross our fingers. Just so you know, I do say a prayer of intention before each of these, and I ask spirit to guide and direct us. And sometimes my intention, spirit just does what it wants, but it's all good. So this week, the tree of life. I love this. This is about balance. This is about, I kind of feel like this is Spirit's way of saying congratulations. Of all of the stuff that we've been through the last couple weeks with the Crazy Carrie Connects card, I feel like Spirit's like, it's this is a balance. This is like, congratulation. You've, you've been digging your roots. You've been growing and progressing. And now look at all that you've received, which was the card that we got last week. So this week is just kind of balancing all that together as below, as above. So you reach, really reach your roots down into spirit, um, down into your core, down into grounding, and those blessings will go up into what you receive. All of the information that you receive, the downloads that you receive, and it's all gotta be kind of balanced. And I love how there's two trunks in this tree because one symbolizes us and the other symbolizes spirit. So we do this with spirit, with the help of our ancestors, with the help of our loved ones, with the help of, with source or God himself. So this is why I love this. Um, so some of the symbols to watch for. So just kind of know that this week's gonna be more of a balance. It's gonna be kind of balancing that earthly stuff and grounding with the spiritual stuff. It's kind of like intertwining all the things that we've gone through and all the growth that we've gone through the last couple of weeks and combining them and just kind of making them balance. And balance is, I always kind of say the balance is kind of not, it's not, yeah, I don't want to say it's not, it's just harder. Sometimes there's always something off. You're never 100% balanced, but sometimes you can, there's never perfection, right? And that's what makes it beautiful. But and I don't want to say, I used to say when I was younger that I just need to balance everything. And sometimes it's so hard. Something's always going to be out of alignment somewhere. But sometimes you do have those moments during meditation where you do feel balanced, or you do feel one, or you do feel connected. And so this is what the tree of life is. It's that new beginning. It's all that stuff that you've learned, all that stuff that we've been going through. It's coming to fruition and you're going to learn to balance it this week. It's going to be more of a rest week, hopefully. And, or just kind of look and see, like question, what are your roots? What are your core beliefs? And how does that go with what your, what your, the spiritual up here part is doing? So the signs and symbols to watch for, obviously a tree, obviously any kind of roots that you see, um, pictures of roots or pictures of trees, and also to butterflies. There's butterflies on this picture at the bottom. There's a whole bunch of gold butterflies down on the tree, any kind of like compass that looks like this at all around, I would say any kind of compass is telling you you're going in the right direction, that you're doing, you're balancing and going in the right direction and spirit is with you. Same with any of these, any kind of tree, any kind of roots, any kind of tree of life. And it's so crazy because if you look at sacred geometry, the tree of life is huge. I know we've done the flower, the sacred geometry flower, but the tree of life 
it's like, if you should Google it and see what it says. So it's all kind of in a balance. It's that balance that you need. So <sighs> call on spirit this week, help ask them to help balance, help balance the, the core beliefs, the earth stuff and the spirit stuff together. So you don't, so they don't contradict the two just because I know that sometimes some of this that we've been taught or some of this that we think we know can contradict with this. So find that balance and help it because we've been learning a lot with the last Carrie Connects card. We've been learning tons of stuff and hopefully you can find that balance because when it's chaotic inside, it's hard. So try and find that, 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 that balance. And the tree of life too is, this is really symbolic of new beginnings. And so it's your new, you know, all of this stuff that you've been going through is starting to, is going to fruition. It's going to cause or have a new beginning somewhere. So I love that for you. I love that for us, right? Yes. Okay. So also too, there's a couple of golden orbs that I just noticed in this picture too. So if you see any golden orbs, so the signs, golden butterflies, butterflies are okay, but yellow is good. Oh, there's also green butterflies in the leaves. So green, any butterfly, Oh, most of the leaves in the tree are butterflies, actually. So any type of butterfly, golden orbs, I will take green orbs too. And roots or trees or the number five or the number eight, 555 five, five means you're changing and 888 eight, eight means there's abundance. So there's going to be a lots of changing spiritually, but you're going to be abundance. Like you're receiving, you've been going through all the change and now you're receiving that, that reward. And then also this mind compass, any kind of compass is a sign for you this week. This is a good week. Take a deep breath. Be proud of who you are. Know that you deserve this. Um, that's the thing too. Know that you deserve it because sometimes we don't feel like we're worthy of some of this, some of these blessings and you deserve it. You've worked hard. It's been, it's been, it's been an uphill climb. It's been a journey. And so take that time to take a deep breath and rest for a minute. Today is this week is your resting spot. So I love you guys so much. And, um, uh, I do have the class, the connection, it's still up. You guys, it's going to be awesome. I know some people are like, it's online, but honestly, I, the reason why it's online is because there's not a lot of room in my office to do these classes. And so many people outside of, of where I live want to join these classes. So it's going to be awesome. I put a lot of work into it. There's going to be on lives. There's going to be lives every week. There's going to be workbooks. There's going to be homework. There's going to be meditations and you get to go at your own pace. You're not going to be graded. There's going to be people that can give you readings or there's going to be people that you want to practice readings on. It's for every level. It's to help you raise your connection at no matter what level you're at. And it's to help you find a community that helps you do this. And, and you get access to me every week. You'll, there'll be a group and you get to ask me questions all the time. So it's going to be awesome. And even those if you're going to be from around here taking the class, I'll do a meetup at the end and it'll just be a really fun time and it'll be fun learning and fun connecting and it's just going to be awesome. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you next week.